Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Jacques. And I'm Swati of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Darwin's finches have helped us understand evolutionary biology and are a classic example of the adaptive radiation. Now, adaptive radiation is the process by which organisms quickly adapt to changes in their environment in many different forms. As a geologist and a naturalist, Charles Darwin was the first to theorize that all species had a common ancestor and coined the term natural selection. Now, natural selection refers to the process of evolution through various environmental pressures. Darwin's finches are a collection of about 15 finches from the Galapagos Island, 14 of which evolved from a common ancestor in the Galapagos in the past one and a half million years. Now, these finches have diversified beak sizes and shapes, feeding habits and diets adapting to different food resources. Traditional taxonomy methods uh, are observational and are based on morphology. In the paper, the authors used whole genome sequencing to better understand the evolutionary relationship between these finches. They sequenced 120 finches representing all of Darwin's finch species. Not only did they identify genes responsible for beak development, but also inconsistencies with the traditional taxonomy. That's right. And, you know, their results show evidence for mixed ancestry, which was a result of species hybridization. What is species hybridization? I thought uh, species could not interbreed. You know, that's very interesting. And um, what's interesting is that very genetically similar species can interbreed. But the line between the ability to interbreed and produce viable offspring is very gray, like ligers, which is the hybrid of a male lion and a female tiger. Researchers suggest that beak diversity is a result of polygenic traits which accounted for differentiation between groups of finches with blunt or pointed beaks. You know, and they provide evidence of ALX homeobox 1 or ALX1 locus to contribute to beak diversity. It encodes a homeodomain protein that plays a crucial role in craniofacial development. Interestingly, loss of ALX1 in humans leads to severe facial deformities. In finches, researchers found that ALX1 B haplotype was associated with blunt beaks and had a long evolutionary history, even predating the radiation of ground finches. Hybridization, accumulation of coding, and regulatory changes affect this locus, which has given rise to the diversity of beaks in Darwin's finches. Beak diversity has helped finches quickly adapt to their food resources and compete with other species on the island. Sequencing has helped reveal species discrepancies due to traditional taxonomy and has helped accurately map species phylogeny. It has also helped determine the genetics underlying species diversification. It is spectacular to see how sequencing can propel this field of taxonomy from something that has relied heavily on observation into something that can now rely on genetics to accurately differentiate and relate different, you know, closely related species. That's all for today. We love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you'd like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to pass along this exciting research. Until next time, bye. Bye.